All right. So basically, I kind of want to uh, talk to you guys about how I run my online business and stuff. Uh, initially, <coughs> it's not very really hard. Uh, kind of, I know because I know like a lot of people want to really stay afloat when it comes to online business and stuff of that nature. But they don't know exactly how to stay afloat in it. So it's because it's such a fluctuating business and stuff. Oh, drop my comment. Can't lose that. That's protection. So initially, uh, yeah, the whole idea is to stay afloat, right? And I know like a lot of people preach all these things and constantly promoting this, constantly promoting that, promoting this and that. But in reality of it is that's if you're doing like a branding type business uh you constantly have to be on the edge about everything you constantly have to be promoting um your business you constantly have to come up with new ideas you constantly have to be pitching and selling and stuff to people <coughs> and so that's the thing about uh online business is initially you don't want to start your foundation off where you have to uh basically you don't want to start your foundation off where you have to basically be continuing to work forever and ever, right? So, me personally, uh, I'm going to talk and work at the same time here. Uh, what I did is I start my foundation off completely different. Uh, I basically just focus on me. Like, I really just focus on me. And uh, just focus on initially, you know, run my business correctly and starting it off and trying to build things think of it from a build that foundation where i don't initially have to be on you know youtube i don't have to be on facebook i don't have to be in social media i don't have to be talking to people the reason i start a business off that way is because of the simple reason that you know if i have a foundation so strong like that it's not going to bother me in the future because of the simple fact that <coughs> i have all this uh i have all these different little assets and stuff that's gonna bring me traffic for the long term. And another thing that I said that I noticed uh, when it comes to the internet-based business is traffic. It's like, that's like the blood of a business, right? People looking at what you have, that's like the blood of your business. And without it, your business cannot survive because you don't have anyone to sell or pitch to, right? So as an online business, what I notice is what I tend to do is try to focus on traffic that's going to come in consistently so whether it's facebook groups uh instagram or adult or seo or youtube or you know uh reddit or something initially i try to make sure that i have traffic coming in consistently for the long term rather than the short term because once i have that traffic coming in for the long term it's going to be a whole lot well it's going to be a whole lot easier to stay afloat because of the simple fact of the consistency of traffic all right, and what I noticed is a lot of people do not have that consistent flow of traffic in their business, so it constantly is fluctuating. So this month it could be high, this month it could be low. Uh, for me personally, just me, my business, just me, my lifestyle, and everything of that nature, I like that just small, consistent flow of traffic where initially I could just have that traffic coming in. I don't have to worry about it. It's like an asset. It's, it's just coming in, right? I know that if I do this amount of this on this, this is gonna make me X, Y, Z, and this outcome is gonna put me that outcome, and having that on there. So <clears throat> when initially, when I'm not around the computer, I'm not on the internet, I know that I have a business that's working for me in the background. So that's one of the major powers of having an internet-based business. It's because you're not constantly, constantly, constantly working for your business initially you actually have assets working for you in the stead all right so another thing um that i do is i kind of get in the frame of mind of 33 all right 33 what is 33 33 right 33 times 30 it equals initially 933 about a thousand dollars a month right so every business that i start or every traffic source that i start whether it's instagram facebook youtube whatever it is I try to make sure that that goal or that number is reached on a consistent daily basis so I know for sure that I'm actually going to get paid, um, you know, $1,000 from that. So initially, if I'm starting an Instagram business, what I want that Instagram business to do is initially generate me $33 minimum, right? 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop it. I'm not gonna switch over to something else. I'm gonna focus on it, get it to $33 a day. That's it. Main goal is 50. Uh, and try to, you know, just make sure I can automate the process and set it and forget it. So $33 to $50 a day is kind of like my main goal. All right. Whatever traffic source it is, where it's uh, Instagram, Facebook, free traffic, um, things of that nature. Like I just noticed one of my fan pages went from like 800 likes. And when I checked it again, it's had like a thousand likes, right? Completely free traffic. So <coughs> another thing where I can do on that fan page is initially put gift card offers, put different offers and things of that nature on my fan page and promote to that audience. So with that fan page driving a boatload of viral traffic, I can then build up multiple, multiple other assets that can do the same to generate new traffic to multiple different offers, right? So like for instance, let's say I have an Instagram page in the baking niche, right? Or into the cooking or food space, right? And I'm promoting to college students. So it'll be easier for me to promote an offer such as a blue apron or something of that nature to those students and stuff where they only have to pay like $60 a week for a meal prep meal and that take care of their food for the rest of the week. All right, so I can easily just have that Instagram page promoting that meal prep and initially that generated me money. And initially, if I know I'm gonna make at least two to three conversions a week by automating that process, then I will continue to have that going. Now, the caveat is initially making sure that you have conversions coming in. Second thing is you don't want to be uh, on that traffic source forever. You don't want to be managing it. You don't want to be looking at it. You just want it to come in and that's it there. All right. Now, to cover more on this, I'm actually going to be going live again inside the private group there.